Hi guys, it's Jen here from Mom, Dad, Cup of Kids, and today we are taking on a challenge. One of our viewers sent a request in to see just how close we could get proximity-wise to packing a family of four into one carry-on. So, we're pretending we're going away for a week. We're not pretending. I hope to God we're going away for a week really soon. But if we are, we are all about what we can do to downsize our actual baggage. Nothing shows more determination than a family trying to avoid airport baggage fees. So today we're going to actually show you a couple of different options on how we approach packing for a week away that is going to allow you to get on that plane, get off that plane, never worry about losing any luggage, not pay any fees, and have you by the pool as quick as possible. We have a family of four. At this time we have our two kids are 11 and 12, so when you're looking at kind of categories of sizing, we have two, I'm pretty much going to say we have four adult sizes here because really they're just about as big as we are, so it's not going to matter as far as that difference. We're approaching this with the idea that we're making a few assumptions. One is that we've got our stuff here which we're going to be taking on the plane. We're all wearing either something along the lines of a travel pant or a pant that we can use for potentially going out for dinner or if it's cold somewhere uh, south that we're going to be visiting. We're taking with us our hat, our sunglasses, and probably a hoodie just in case it gets super cold again. But knowing that we're going to be going somewhere hot, we're not worrying too much about anything else. We're going to be wearing runners on the plane so that if we do decide to do any activity down there, something like horseback riding or either uh, climbing or trekking, that we've got a pair of closed toe shoes because that's always important. The only other pair of shoes we're taking are a pair of flip-flops. Mom, if you want to, because you really like those fancy shoes, maybe you can throw those extra pair of fancy heels into your, your own carry-on. We're also making the assumption that you're going to have a purse or maybe a backpack for if you decide maybe to do something like an, an iPad or entertainment as well as your um, cosmetics. But really, if you're going in the sun, you don't need cosmetics because you're just going to go have fun, get your lashes done, you're set, you're fine. Deodorant is all you really need and some sunscreen. So let's get started. We're going to be going into each one of our allocations on what we did and we are all going to be using a packing cube like this. We actually traveled for nine months using this with one backpack for all four of us and so this is what we used consistently to make sure that everything was honed in and each of us had an identifier that was specifically our stuff. So come along and see what we, how we pack. Okay, subject number one is our daughter Lauren. Lauren is 11 years old, so we're going into womanhood, but we're also still a little kid. So we have to make sure that we're bundling all of her stuff into one spot and got everything and have everything currently into her cube. So with Lauren, we always wanted to pack, she likes sometimes dressing up for dinner, so we've got a dress. We've got her pair of jeans that she wants to wear again. If she's a big horseback rider, she can wear those when she's actually on the beach horseback riding. But then we've also got a pair of, we'll call it really, really lightweight travel pants that she can use. Then we've got the rules of two. We've got two pairs of shorts. We've got three tops. One is sort of a, um, a top that would be amenable to either going out or actually spending the day. Then we've got a tank top and we've got a t-shirt. And she's got one t-shirt that she's traveling with. First of all, most people are not paying attention to what you're wearing while you're on a trip. Second of all, if you need to, we've got this amazing suggestion called Soak, which is um, an actually Canadian-based company that you can, it's a rinse-free laundry detergent that you can do when you're on the road. It dries really fast. We use it all the time, best thing ever. Take a shoelace that we use for clotheslines and you are set. So yes, we've got her shirts, we've got two bathing suits, we've got a tank, a bra tanklet, we've got a sun shirt, and then we've got her pajamas. So we're gonna get that into her bag and show you just how easy it is to get this all pushed in to here. For Spencer, he's 12 years old. He doesn't have a huge love or desire for fancy clothes, but he does have a huge love and desire for clean. So what we're gonna be doing for him is that we've got a pair of travel pants that also actually zip into shorts. So we can count that both as pants and shorts for him. We brought one more pair of additional pants, two pairs of shorts, a pair of shorts that he's gonna be using as pajamas, two bathing suits, and three t-shirts. Let's get him inside along with his flip-flops as well. Others, he would actually just pack a bathing suit or two and that would be about it. A great speaker by the name of Drew Dudley once said, always take your bathing suit everywhere you're going when you're traveling because it's fun insurance, which is something that we have held to 
for the entire time that we've traveled ever since. Always, always take your bathing suit because you just never know. So we're gonna pack him. What we did for dad is that we have one kind of going out outfit, which is a pair of linen pants and a nice top. He has a pair of travel pants that can also be turned into shorts. We have a pair of pajamas, a pair of shorts, again, two bathing suits, one other pair of shorts, and three t-shirts. That's about it. So let's pack him up. Now we're gonna move on to mom. That's me. I know when it comes to you deciding what is gonna go on a trip for a week, maybe us women like to have a little bit of extra choice. So I do have a couple of extra things compared to the rest of everybody else. But I figure, listen, if I'm packing, I get to choose. So one thing is, is if you have an option, definitely choose flat bras um, versus cut ones, if that's a choice. I will always put that at the very bottom of my packing cube just to kind of lay it flat and have it alternatively what we're doing with our underwear and some of our other pieces is that we're actually just going to be stuffing them in either in between our packing cubes or alternatively inside part of our other carry-on which is our you know all the other pieces that we're taking so i've got a pair of pants that i'm traveling with i've got a pair of tights that i figure if i want to do something that has a little bit of cold or i want to make sure that i'm being modest i have uh, jean shorts and a pair of shorts and then i've got two dresses for either um, beach attire or else wearing at at evening i've got a beach cover-up that i can actually multi-purpose and either use as a skirt with a tank or alternatively as a strapless dress with a belt so always looking about diversity when it comes to how you can multi-use different parts of your wardrobe sort of um a capsule collection type of idea that you can make sure that everything matches and goes so it's really really easy to mix and match and we're just going to include three other tank tops i've got one tank top one spaghetti strap and one full t-shirt just so that we're, we're good and then i've got my one that i'm traveling with so check it out also, fabric is a really, really important uh, consideration again when we're talking about what packing. This I love because it's a super easy dress. I can scrunch it, I can throw it on the bottom of my pack. I can travel with it if I'm actually going to the beach or if we're going snorkeling and doing an excursion for the day. Super, super easy to pack, super, super lightweight. So those kind of considerations are really important when you're trying to make sure that you're addressing specifically a carry-on idea for traveling for a week. Oh, and I even have pajamas that I forgot to tell you about that are also being included in here. Now, if you're wondering what kind of uh, folding method we're using, if you watch any of our KonMari videos, we are all doing the Marie Kondo idea of the sushi roll. So when we're doing the packing cube, we're rolling everything. We actually find that it's much easier as far as things not getting wrinkled. It's easier to pack. And it's so great because it's just in there, it's done, and we can get way more into a packing cube than you could if you were just doing it in a regular bag. So let's get it closed in. So we're just gonna actually pack with them sitting upright. Now, if you want to include, you can actually, we've got room here, depending on, you know, if there is a weight restriction for your travel, it's always important to make sure that you double check with the airlines on exactly what your baggage limit is. This is expandable, so um, oftentimes what we've done is we've carried a disposable or an, or an expandable extra bag within the front part of our carry-on but it allows you to have a little bit of flexibility so we're going to put some of our flip-flops in here in the front piece and if you guys have the clarity and you have the room again this is where you can do things like putting bathing suits inside the flip-flops that you've got we just tuck everything in maximize use of space underwear socks can all go in and around this piece so that when you're folding it, it stays nice and consistent. It's not super bulky with in regulations. Et voila! A family of four, one week's worth of holidays somewhere in the tropics, and we're ready to go. If one person doesn't want to be the one to carry all of everybody's items, the other way that we've packed often is each of us has one backpack that's definitely within the limits of packing for, say we'll call it, um, those carriers that are charging you for everything. We just take our packing cube, we put it in, we have tons of extra space for all our things like our deodorants, our shampoos, our conditioners, make sure that you're using travel size. Again, I would recommend something like soap or a non-rinse washing detergent 
and a line because you can wash your underwear. If you've got four, we've, we've always established about four pairs of underwear, two pairs of socks, two pairs of everything else. Books can go in here. This is still going to be within the weight. You're totally set. Another core tip that I can't live without when it comes to you know how to pack with a lot of space consideration is something like the Sea to Summit dry bags or wet bags as well as the Sea to Summit smaller um, container capacities. We use these all the time, especially when it comes to say for example you're going on a snorkeling trip, you're out in the Caribbean, this is actually waterproof. So what you can do is you can put your, your key components like your phone, I mean I wouldn't suggest actually going in the water with this, but I would say if you want to make sure that it's not getting wet on the boat, put all the core elements of your stuff into it, you just fold it up, clip it together, you can put it on your belt, you can take it with you. Alternatively, at the end of your trip, if you're just done and you don't even want to try and get everything back into your backpack, what we do is this becomes our dirty laundry bag. <clears throat> so we put everything in here, you know, We've done with our trip, and the beautiful thing is it kind of acts like a vacuum sealer. So you throw all your stuff in, you push up the air, make sure that it's really, really squished out. Again, you close that up, and you decompress all of your clothes into this much smaller option. This works great when you're traveling. We use this as sort of our carrier. Um, through the entire time we're going. Sometimes we just actually take um, part of our purse and we just carabine it on. If we want to take a bunch of, we'll call it Sierra hoodies or something like that, and we don't want to carry a backpack, this is multi-purpose. It's so fantastic. We use it all the time. Really, really important if you have one of these to take it with you because it's so valuable. The other thing we also do use is we have mesh bags. This helps a lot when you're trying to find particular things like we'll call it charging tables or batteries for your phone or your, or your camera. Uh, mesh bag is perfect because then you can take a look at all the things without having to actually dig in through anything else. So these are core components that we consider to be a great value when it comes to traveling. We hope you enjoyed this. Challenge was put out there. Challenge accepted. Challenge completed. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for, for more information and tips on traveling, on lifestyle, and all the things in between. Take care.